Here we go. Here we are on Thanksgiving, we're back at the park, and there's the bridge we saw last time. We're going to check to see if the cache is still there, uh, the first one we, we found last time, and to see if anyone has visited it since, since I last uh, found it. And I'm here with my brother, say hi dude. Hey! And then, yeah, so here we go. David found the cash, the same one that I found last time. And that bottle is still there. You're gonna open it and sign the logbook. Yeah, it slides off. I got a pen. You can sign the logbook if you want to. So we're back on the trail going east again. Uh, this is where I, I missed the second geocache last time I was on my bike. But we're gonna try again this time. I got it here on the GPS. Geocache B, or I, as I was calling it, geocache number two. And it says we're about 730 feet from it. Now we're 720. Now we're 710. We're just gonna keep going, following this trail until we find it. And now I got, I got my brother here, so we got two eyes. It's better than one, so maybe we'll find it this time and not overshoot it like last time. Uh -oh. 
some beer cans. I'm guessing those are probably not the geocache. Hey, there you can cider. Oh, they got some cider too. Man, heart. Yeah, we both like cider. They like cider. I like cider. Um, so we're thinking we're within about 200 feet of it. We're thinking it might actually be off the, the road or the pathway here on the right side. It might actually be in that sign over there because the fourth geocache was in a sign. This might be in a sign also. So we're going to check it out. No, hold on. So here, here we are with the location of the second geocache. According to the GPS, it should be right around here. I was thinking it was in this sign because that's where the last one I found was. But as you can see, there's nothing in there. There's no capsule or anything like that. But our GPS says it should be here. We're going to check around for another maybe five minutes. And if we can't find it then, then we are going to go on to the next one and come back at a later time. Maybe someone will have replaced it by then or maybe we'll just have better luck. All right, well, we looked for about 20 minutes. We couldn't find it. We'll have to come back some other day and try it. We're gonna head on to the third location to see if we can find it there. All right. Okay, so now we're heading on to the third geocache. It's about 500 feet from our current location. We're going east on the trail. Hopefully we'll find this one. All right, we're at the location of where supposedly the third geocache is. It says we're within 10 feet of it, so we're gonna start looking around. It's probably more like within 20 feet of our current location. We're gonna start looking around and we'll take more footage once we find it. Uh, we didn't find the third cache, so we're going to head on. I guess we're going to try going this way a little bit further and trying to find another one that we haven't found yet. We might check on the fourth one again to see if anyone's found it since I last found it by that sign over there. And David found the fourth geocache, the one that I found last time. David just now found it, and I guess he's going to sign the logbook. Yeah, it took me a long time to get it back in. And David's going to sign this, and we'll be back in a few minutes. So we're going east on this trail again. We just refound cache number four, and now we're going to try to find cache number five, which is called uh, Mason Creek letter E. So the last one was actually letter D. So this next one is going to be cache number five, and it's about 700 feet from our current location, and we're heading there right now. All right, we're about 200 feet from it. We're heading east. We just passed this bridge. I'm thinking it's probably going to be under one of these signs up here, but I'm not sure. Or behind the barbed wire fence. No, it's probably not there. Yeah. But here, here's this paintball place next to us. You have to break into the barbed wire fence. So, did you bring your wire No, I did not. So after about 20 minutes of looking, we searched all around the perimeter of this little power station here along the fence. We almost gave up, but then I suddenly saw this shiny object down here, and it looks like it's a cash container. It's a little, little capsule. You can kind of see it in there. We're going to open it up and check it out. There we put the cash back. In there, you see it. And I'm gonna try to go for one more 
cash before we head home. So let me just get the GPS out and we're gonna start looking for the last one. Okay, we're at the next one. I believe it's the sixth one in the series. And we're about 500 feet from it. Still headed east on the trail. There's another bridge up here. It might be under the bridge. I don't really know exactly. It's probably gonna be hard to find it because it's getting pretty dark now. But we're gonna try. We're determined to find one last cache before we head home. Isn't that right, dude? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try our hardest to find it. 400 feet to go. We passed the bridge, so it's not under the bridge. We were kind of worried that it was gonna be under the bridge, and we have to go crawl up under there and find it. About 360 feet. We're outside this paintball field. I've never been to it. I've never been this close to it actually. Been here all these years and never even seen it. Kind of cool though. About 300 feet to go. Two fifty feet. Hundred fifty feet. I might be on one of these fences over here. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Could be. It could be on a tree branch or something. No, that's kind of what we're worried about is these, these caches that might be hitting on these trees. 50 feet. Well, we're not really going to trip Yeah. 30 feet. 20 feet. Look for something shiny. Yeah. I'm saying three feet of it. <laughs> so we're now within zero feet of it. Of course, we can't see a thing. We can't I'm going to shut off the camera for a bit and try to find this gas. really dark outside. I, you probably can't see this, this footage, but we found we found cast number six, I think. It's here on the fence. It's a little soda tube. I don't think it has. No, not for video. But here it is. I'm going to take it out, sign the logbook, and then go home. Can't see it at all. So we're going to shut the camera off. There it is. You can kind of see it there. A little soda tube. Kind of like a test tube.